Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another book review for you and this is for Tell No Lies by Alison Brennan. Tell No Lies is book two in the Quinn and Costa thriller series. The first book was The Third to Die, which came out last year, I would say, let me just see, I think probably a year ago. Uh, yes, last February, February 2020. And this book here, Tell No Lies, is the second book, so we get to see the two primary protagonists, which are Kara Quinn and Matthias Costa, working together yet again. Now, even though this book here, Tell No Lies, is the second book in the series, you'll quickly see, if you read this, that it does quite well as a standalone novel. Now the connection that, there are two connections that I want to mention as far as this book being the second book in the series. The first connection would be the draw in the relationship that Kara, or Kara Quinn, which we're going to refer to them as Quinn and Costa, that Quinn and Costa developed in the first book. The second connection that I want to mention is the reason that Kara is working for Quinn. As the fact remain, or the fact is, is that Kara Quinn. I'm sorry. Let me back that up. Quinn is an LAPD detective. Has been working undercover for years. Many great, successful undercover assignments. Her last assignment, however, which we read about in the first book of the series, she got burned by certain criminals. So she can no longer work on the streets of LA as an undercover cop. So Matt, meanwhile, Matt Costa, has developed a team. It's called the Mobile Response Team. And Kara now works or is kind of on loan to the FBI, working under Matt Costa's direction. Okay, so that's a little bit of background for the first book as to why Kara, an LAPD cop, is working on an FBI assignment. So I keep saying I'm going to call her Quinn, so I'm going to try to do that because basically they're known as Quinn and Costa. Now, what's going... Uh, oh, one more thing I do want to mention about cast, uh, excuse me, about Quinn is she grew up in a family of con artists. So she lived a life of schemes, scams, and deceit. But she made a turn in her life and that's how what led her to becoming a cop. So... Meanwhile, back to the present, back to this book in the series, it starts off with a college couple, they're maybe 19 or 20 years of age, uh, and the girl tells the boyfriend that she, they're studying, ge or at least the girl is studying geology, that she had seen some dead birds. And it was an unusual event for her, so she starts her own little investigation to try to figure out why these birds had died so she drags her boyfriend she says come on let's go and they go on a hike and they and they go to where she spotted these birds on one of her walks well sadly this led to her murder so that's pretty much the reason that the fbi embarked on a town called patagonia arizona to see if there was truth behind the possibility that there was toxic dumping that cost that particular breed of wildlife, the deaths in that wildlife. And if this is a case of toxic dumping, could this eventually infiltrate the water and cost human lives? So that's where Costa and his FBI mobile response team comes into play. Now, Kara has been installed as a bartender and a, and then there's one FBI agent installed in the company. It's a copper company undercover. And then there's yet another agent who's kind of assigned to watch over Quinn to make sure she stays safe because the mobile response team is based in DC and all of this is going on in Arizona. So Matt, Matt Costa is working in DC, Kara and the other agents, of course, who have to act like they don't know each other, are working in Patagonia, Arizona. So 
as the case starts to take ground, one thing, by the way, I should mention is that one of the reasons that Costa got and his team got pulled in, even though like we know, like if you watch any shows or read any books with the FBI, a lot of times FBI only gets involved if there are serial killers or things of that nature. But why would Matt and his team, Costa and his team come in when there was only one death and even her death was a suspicious one and maybe not even ruled a murder right at the beginning. Well, there's somebody that is providing inside tips to Costa to prove that there might indeed be toxic dumping going on. So what do they begin to find? Several things are at play. Sadly, there's evidence of child trafficking. Then there's evidence of gun running and drug smuggling. So toxic dumping, child trafficking, child trafficking, gun running, and smuggling. So definitely the FBI needs to be involved. Now along the way, Costa and Quinn find evidence of children that might be victims of this trafficking. So part of the story is directed around getting to the bottom of the evidence involving the children and trying to save the lives of said children. Now, there's a lot of, excuse me, there's a lot of danger at play here. And the reason why is because the town's residents are quite tight-lipped about whatever is going on in the town. It's a town secret, okay? Because there's a lot of illegal activity going on. So this places Quinn in grave danger. So at some point, Costa does have to go to Patagonia in order to, to uh, further the investigation. I found this to be a thrilling story. Like I said, it definitely can be a standalone, but if you like continuity like I do, you will most definitely enjoy reading the first book, Tell No Lies, before you read this one. I mean, excuse me, the first book, The Third to Die, before you read this one, Tell No Lies. Um, there's palpable tension in this story and it doesn't let up. You know, you have your expected twists and turns, which every mystery or romantic suspense book would have. You have your likable protagonist and your unlikable protagonist. And you definitely, definitely find that the story, will find that the story will be quite compelling. A great read, definitely a five-star read for me. So that's it. Uh, this book will be out on the 30th. So this review is being made ahead of time but I won't upload it to this channel until the book is ready for release. But there you have it. This is called Tell No Lies by Alison Brennan. Thank you. Bye-bye.